today's project. I told you guys I was gonna make a vegan key lime pie and the crust is a no-bake crust. So we're camping with friends tomorrow, so I wanna make this today ahead of time because he actually put it in the freezer. So first we're gonna start with the crust. I'm going to use some pitted dates, some coconut oil, and some walnuts. That's it for the crust. I happen to have some glazed walnuts, so I'm gonna put a few of those in, but I'm mostly using just the raw shelled walnuts. So now that I have this handy little food processor, that's what I'm gonna make my crust in. That looks pretty good. Okay, I actually made a second batch because I didn't have enough to go along the sides. Now, sometimes I made it with only the crust on the bottom, but I kind of like how it looks when I take it all out and take it out of the parchment paper and it's complete. I think it kind of looks good with the crust on the side, but you do your thing. There are no rules to this. So, and even if you want it crustless, I think that would work too. So this is gonna go in the freezer now and we're gonna work on the filling. This is the filling. These are the simple ingredients. I have about, it was probably a cup of raw cashews that I soaked. I only soaked them for a couple hours. That's gonna go into the Vitamix. Soaked and drained. Um, I'm gonna use maple syrup as a sweetener. Now, the great thing about this is if you want it more tart, add more lime. If you want it sweeter, add more maple syrup. There are no rules to this. You could use macadamia nuts in the crust. That would be really good, actually. Um, you could use pecans. I've done pecans before. So pretty much whatever you have on hand. Um, I've done this with lemons. Um, I've made a similar pie with peanut butter and chocolate. So it's, it's pretty simple. Next, I'm gonna add coconut cream. Now, I'm going to mostly just take the cream off the top and I will add the liquid as we go after I see what we need. There's all the good stuff. Um, I'm gonna add some coconut oil as kind of a binder and then just a splash of vanilla. And now for the fun part. Here goes the limes. I want to mention I could not find key limes. Isn't that crazy? A store in Florida, no key limes. So these are Persian limes, but they would work with any lime, I would say. And I do like to put some of the zest in there, so I'm gonna zest some and put that in there as well. Now for the fun part. We'll see if I need to add more liquid. So I blended this probably for, what would you say, a minute? Yeah. So hot. I will blend it more because it needs to be creamier, but. Okay, I think that actually is pretty good. What do you think? Does it need to be tartar, sweeter? Oh, I wouldn't change it. That's good. Pepper. <laughs> Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
So that was pretty creamy. I'm gonna let this go though for another maybe minute or so because I really want that creaminess that um, regular lime pie has is super luscious and creamy. So I'm gonna let this go for a little while longer, but you can see kind of the consistency of what we're after. So cool. Let's check the battery. 98%. 98%. And now let's whoop, let's run this for at least another minute. Done. What do we have? Battery. You're 98%. Not too bad. Whew. That's the thing with the Vitamix. It gets, it makes things hot, which is why it's great for soup. I'm going to let this kind of come to room temp, cool down a bit before I put it in the freezer because I don't want the freezer to overwork. So I'm set this to the side and when you come back, we'll be filling the vice in. This is what I am going to put on a little bit of zest just because it will stick better, I think. This is going in the freezer. We will regroup tomorrow. I'll meet you back here and we will finish this off. Oh, 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 oh boy. Whoa, whoa. Oh boy. There she is in all her glory. I just pulled this out of the freezer and I forgot to take it out sooner because I'm about ready to serve it. So I'm gonna try and get some mango on it. There's some coconut I toasted and I have some raspberries gonna go on top too. So let's see if I can get that together. Oh. Maureen, Bob, <laughs> this is mine. It's supposed to be um, a key lime pie, but I left it in the freezer. I forgot to pull it out. So it's going to be like an icebox pie and they're Persian lime. So Ooh, they look delicious. Forgive me. Um, sliced mango, raspberry, and this is toasted coconut on Ooh. top. Slice into it. Do it. And please don't pretend you like it if you don't, because I'm not one to be offended. It's, oh yeah, it's really hard, right? You got a real freezer. This is a. Oh, yeah, we do a have knife. a real freezer. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's like the perfect slice. It looks perfect. I was going to make homemade whipped cream with coconut milk, with coconut cream, but I just ran out of time. So. We have priorities. We need to eat. Do I have oh my to gosh. Wait? No, please don't wait. Candid opinion? And yeah, no, honestly, the thing is, like, Dave and I cook for ourselves, so we don't cook, cook for others a lot. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> My mom good. didn't like this pie, so it's good. No, we've had it's not sweet, so not a lot sweet. of people like we've a had sweeter. um frozen key lime pie before. Okay, this is a tartar experience, probably because I love tart. The only thing I put in it for sweetener is um, there's some dates in the crust and then maple syrup in the barely in the filling. Oh, so good. It's, excellent. Okay. Oh, it's good. Excellent. Oh, I got a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Nice. Oh, it's delicious. I wanted to show you guys we were on step three of the coffee beans. If you watched the previous video, you know we picked these off the coffee bush tree um, and we're processing them. So right now we're drying them out 
They had kind of this mucusy looking stuff on it. Just and left over from the fruit, the cherry, whatever they call that. It's yeah. Skin. So it's gonna take take a while. For one, this is Florida and everything stays wet for a long time. Yeah, so damp here. Speaking of Florida, we just had some exciting thing happen in our camp. Well, very near our camp. Check it out. Here's our neighbor. Heck. I saw him over at this pond f about five minutes ago. Out, we were out with pistol. This is how close he is. This is at our door. Our, neighbor's our driver's door. Have to chase him out with their truck when they get back. Yeah. Wow. It's too close for comfort for me. Uh, oh, go away. <laughs> Where's he going? Holy well, that's the closest I've ever been to one. Is he looking at you? Oh, he's looking. Wow, look at those teeth. I've actually, yeah, I've never been this close to it. Oh, he's going to the back of the van. Freaky, right? And it was like a foot or two from the, the driver's side and just slowly went down the van. And just like two minutes before that, I'd been showering right there. Yeah, and then he I went just... into the brush in the back. <laughs> like he walked on that side of the van and just went into the bushes, so. I keep thinking, what if I'd been standing there taking a shower when he came like right down by the... Yeah. That would have been something. Anyway, we've seen a lot of gators, but I've never been uh, never been that close. That close, and to have one come into our camp like that was kind of so. Pistol's in the van now. Yeah. I heard him, and he's probably 10, 20 feet back there. And I heard him going away from the camp. Then, then I heard nothing. So he's just laying out there somewhere. So. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna bet money that he's gonna wander back to the water. 